Hi, my name is Ron Perry. I like to build models and I also like to share them with you. Today we're going to work on the diorama. Uh, I'm going to bite the bullet and use uh, my old and trusty weld bond glue uh, to glue these pieces together. I wanted to get uh, some other glue but things have just been a lot pretty hectic around here and I haven't been able to go to the store and uh, you know weld bond glue will work and even in these instructions which was seriously surprising to me is they reference weld bond glue a whole bunch There it is right there. Weld bond, bonding adhesive. Is, I'll read it to you. Weld bond, bonding adhesive is excellent for casting to wood or casting to casting assemblies. If you like working with quick drying ACC type glues, they will work fine for all assemblies. Indeed, you'll need some super glue for certain assemblies. We use round toothpicks to apply and to clean any excess glue, but they start with weld bond. Well, actually, <laughs> oh my gosh. They even reference old, uh, oh, come on. Come on with your stuff. There you go. Sorry about that. They even re reference old yellow carpenter's glue, except I do not suggest carpenter's glue at all. Carpenter's glue... Uh, well, y y if you, okay, so carpenter's glue, if you soak carpenter's glue 10 years down the road, it will soften and the parts will come apart. So forever and ever, yellow glue can always be unhinged. Maybe that's what you want. But if you're building models outside, you don't want to have something like that because your models are just going to go bing, fall apart. Weld bond glue is not waterproof. However, it is uh, very much stable with moisture. So it's not the type of thing where you will... Uh, be able to separate parts with weld bond glue you really have to pry the the wood the glue off of the wood to get them up to get the pieces apart like uh, I have lots of experience uh, separating pieces with weld bond glue and it's not easy whereas uh, yellow carpenters glue is easy so let's get to the job I, I stop rambling here I'm gonna move Oh, I'm going to move the camera first. Got my microphone. And uh, move this over here. We're gonna have a problem here. Okay, so I started this build uh, with the repair dock having its doors closed and then uh oh i forget your name i think your last name's lebrecht 
Isn't that crazy? I remember your last name, but not your first. Uh, said, are you going to model the doors open? And, you know, this year, this summer, I built the, you know, some of the nicest kits that I've ever built. And uh, in the back of my mind, I was thinking to myself, well, you're kind of proving a point, aren't you? So you might as well uh, build them with the doors open. So I'm not going to show you the doors just yet because I got that part done and they look really good. And I think that uh, they should have a grand entrance. But uh, we've got a dock now uh, made out of foam board as of course and it's uh, the I did actually end up and it's not dry yet son of a well, I'm gonna have to add more glue down here for this but uh, I did embed my uh, boat launch casting into the foam because of uh, various reasons but I did level out like I pinched out the foam with my fingers which made it pit it, had, it was all pitted like a minefield so I used uh, beach sand uh, as a medium to reach the two I put glue down on the foam first then put the beach sand down, wetted it down so the glue would come up through the sand, put down my casting, and then put down more uh, loose glue. When I say loose glue, that means that uh, you can hear the glue shake around in the bottle like this, but it's still fairly thick. It's not wet water. Or or scenic glue or anything like that it, it's it's fairly thick it's it's you know I've got three styles you know uh, straight that's super super duper thick and then this and then e an even thinner stuff for for scenery but I'm just gonna put that glue in there and what's gonna happen is this glue is actually going to seep through the foam the moisture is going to seep through the foam. Uh, when I tried to pick this up off the desk over there, it was stuck to the desk because uh, all the glue water floats through all these little bubbles in the foam. And this is the Woodland Scenics uh, foam pieces. Uh, inside story is, you know, when you sell, uh, you know, custom models and stuff, uh, you're often, uh, your, your payment is often uh, supplemented with freebies. <laughs> and uh, I got probably about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of this stuff in one of those deals. So uh, uh, <laughs> that's why I'm using foam. Okay, so this has been glued. This needs to be glued on here. Uh, sorry for the washing machine running. So that goes on there like that. This goes on here. And it looks like I need to cut more out because I'm not making it up to my lines that are drawn on the board you can't see. Uh, I'm gonna put that like that, this like this. Okay. So now this goes over uh, this side piece like this. And this paper is going to uh, make the transition from the walls of the boat launch to the main uh, cement pad in the, the repair docks. Now it's going to make an anomaly, like it's going to give a, a weird shadow. I'm going to try to avoid it. 
I might actually cut away the foam even more so that I could uh, maybe put a set of stairs from one level to another. Uh, this is basically a structure that digs into the ground so uh, a cement pad wants to be flat so there's no way to make these together so what would have happened in dirt building construction was it, it would have been formed up like this around here and all this would be built up over like a tarmac road or something like that this would be totally different this would be uh, floated concrete so uh, that's our technicalities there um, on the structure itself as you can see we've got some pieces to fill in still uh, namely over here we don't have a foundation under the wall uh, we have We have this brick component being installed right here. And uh, the ground is going to have to be leveled or, or, or formed in a certain way after we have the structure built. We've got to first paint it first paint it and then start putting in the porches and stuff like that and angling the earth so it looks uh, right and that's probably gonna have to be done with a uh, hot wire I've got a device that'll do that um, so that'll probably be done with a hot wire and uh, but this is the diorama as it stands now it's gonna change a bunch over the weekend as I start gluing things in so we even have a boat that's going into this which is a Sierra West scale models casting I just have to make the the boathouse here which is fairly easy and probably find a mast too as I look at it but that's the project as it stands uh, I think this is uh, wonder if anybody's watching <laughs> I can't really move on too much until uh, my casting here is totally dried uh, that being that the reason being is that a lot of things are are glued to it and we don't want it to be movable with things glued to it we want to give it a couple of days to to dry out to cure so that it, it it's solid it's a it's a it's an anchor point to the whole structure that's, that's because uh, this this dock is going to be mainly glued to it. You know, we're going to have to glue it to the back of the dock like that. And then we're going to have to put plaster over top of this dock or, or maybe something else. I might use glue. Glue sometimes suffice. Uh... actually really it looks really good from this angle I don't know about what you're thinking uh, I know it's all white so it's really hard to see but this is going to be a really nice scene here Brad I gotta thank Brad Lebrecht from Ottawa you're the man Brad I hope that's your name but that's the name that just popped in my head <laughs> So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be working on this over the weekend. Uh, probably uh, we'll probably glue the dock to the casting. I'm probably going to uh, put in a, a crazy glue a piece of wood in the back 
so that I can glue uh, the dock uh, to the casting and also to the piece of wood. Hopefully between the two of them it will be solid there. And uh, yeah, that's that. So uh, thanks for watching. If you're a fan, please consider uh, contributing to the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Ron Perry, P-A-R-E. It's a buck a video. I don't charge every video. It's only four videos a month. Four. Four bucks. If you put in a buck, four bucks. Four bucks. You know, there's people who've put in ten bucks a month, which was really cool. That didn't last forever, but it was nice. So, thanks for watching. You don't have to be a patron, but it would be nice. Talk to you later.